I have been feeling like total crap for a while now and we really need to change that. Hey amigas, this is Sandy here. Honestly, for the past week or so, I have been suffering from horrible back pain to the point where like I questioned if I have to go to the ER. And of course, during that time, I just never really worked on myself like i had all these plans like oh my god i'm gonna do my nails i'm gonna make my hair look pretty i'm gonna really put a lot of effort but of course that did not happen and here i am stressing because i need to really like have a glow up in like a day i have a lot to do today especially like derma planning i really want to shave my face that way my makeup and skincare is looking snatched i want to do a lash lift i've never done a lash lift on myself so i'm really hoping this turn out great i want to paint my nails i'm kind of debating though if i should go for like a red nail polish because i kind of want to like play the red nail ther like theory if it's like true or not i'm a red nail girl though i've always loved wearing red nails but I just like never really have the time. But you've definitely seen enough, okay, of this face here. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta fix this. We're gonna have a glow up on a budget because we are budget friendly girls here. I try to be as budget friendly as possible whenever I do my glow ups because your girl definitely does not have like thousands and thousands of dollars to get everything done professionally. I just do everything at home. I mean, one day I'm definitely manifesting, going, getting myself treated every single month and not have to worry. That is definitely a manifestation there. But let's do our little budget-friendly glow up. I'm going to go ahead and shave my face first just because I do have a clean face. Mind you, whenever you're going to dermaplane at home, highly recommend making sure your face is clean. And I usually do double cleansing. Personally, I do not recommend you dry shave. I've seen people online like TikTok and whatever like dry shaving for at home. Honestly, I cannot do that. I did that once and I broke out so bad. Derma planning is definitely not for everyone. If you have like acne active prone skin, I probably wouldn't recommend it, especially if you do actually have active acne. I also don't recommend it if you have like super sensitive skin or if your skin tends to easily um, get like scars and stuff. So yeah, I feel like derma planning is one of those things where you just kind of figure out if it's for you or not. Personally, I really like it. I usually like to use a facial oil. This one is the Yudong Vitamin Oil Serum. I'm actually almost done with it. And then I use this facial razor. Um, make sure that you're actually using a facial razor. They're very different from like razors that you shave your body with. This one specifically, I don't remember the name of it. Um, I'll definitely have it linked for you guys, but I actually really love this one. And it is a refillable one, so you just kind of like take this off and put a new one in. So, so far, I really enjoy this one. So, I put a little bit of a light for you guys so you can really see what is going on. I'm actually going to, like, listen to an audiobook, though. So, we're going to have some music over this. But, I just wanted to show you guys, like, a more close-up. So, how I shave usually my face is I do one section at a time. First, I check, like, I focus on my cheeks just because that's the area where I tend to have more facial hair. And then, I usually don't really shave my forehead um, but I do shave a lot like here, like where my jawline is and a little bit down, not super down my neck just because I noticed that when I shave my neck, I kind of tend to break out a lot. Um, so I kind of just stick to like right here, halfway, and then I'm good. Um, my face get, did get a little bit red in certain spots, but it's completely normal whenever I dermaplane. You do have to be extremely gentle with your face when you're shaving, but of course, it's just normal if your face gets red when you're touching it. I think I'm actually going to go ahead and put an eye patch, though, just because I feel like my under eyes are a little bit dry, so let's grab an eye patch. I don't know if I want to do one of my masks that I have, like, in here, kind of. Or if I should do like a fancier one. I have a collagen one. Let's see, that's a sheet mask. So this one is the I Do Care Scar Starlit Kitten Brightening Hydrogel iPad. And I have to put it on for 30 minutes. Okay. 
I used this before. Did I not put it on for 30 minutes? We're going to leave these on for 30 minutes. And then while I'm doing that, I probably will continue reading my book. I'm actually on, I'm currently listening to The Court of Thorn and Roses, the graphic audiobook. Um, so I'm really excited to see how it goes. I did read the first book already and I read part of the second book, but I honestly don't remember anything from the first book. So it's kind of nice to like re-listen to it and see, you know, like see the difference, especially with like the graphic audio and all the sound effects and action. So I'm really excited for that. And then I'm going to go ahead and probably look for what I want to do for my nails. I don't know if I want to do, like I said, press on nails, just my normal nails. But right now my normal nails are so stubby. I kind of want to put something over them. But then at the same time, I'm like, oh, maybe I should just stick with like natural manicure. That way, like it can grow. But who knows? We'll figure it out. Yeah. so a few months ago a brand actually sent me their lash lift kit and honestly i've never done a lash lift on myself i always go to the salon but girl it is so expensive lately to get your lashes lifted it's about a hundred dollars and every time i get them done I hate how they look like they never turn out as lifted as I want them to be and I always tell the girls like could you please lift them a little bit more I feel like they just still look kind of slanted every time same results and I just feel like I haven't seen any really good results we're gonna try this lash lift hopefully it turns out good <laughs> Um, I don't really understand the instructions, so I think I have to watch a video. And when this brand reached out to me, they wanted to do a collab, and I told them, like, no, because I don't really know much about them, and they weren't paying me. So I was like, hey, you can send it to me if you want, as PR. They did end up agreeing with my proposal where I told them, like, hey, I'm not going to do any gift to collab with you. I'm not posting your content, and you have no right for to my content, but... If you want, you can set it as PR, but there's no obligation for posting. And they said, yeah, so here we are. We're gonna actually go ahead first with the dash, with the WL Lash Lift, and this one is their cleanser. I think I'm gonna go with my left side first. And you just do this to remove any like residue and dirt before you actually do the lash lift. It actually comes with different sizes in the back. We have from um, very loose, um natural finish to more tight firm finish i mean should i just go with the tight version like go for it right okay i think i did it right am i doing this right Uh, please don't laugh at me okay i decided to change the pad for this one because originally i did medium on my left side and then i did m1 on my right side because m1 is supposed to be like still curved lashes but like not super lifted because girl let me show you look at this this is this is medium so it's supposed to be tight and she's a little too tight because you can see it's like so folded especially here that like my lashes look like they're attached to my eyelid you know what i mean whereas this one is medium or m1 and it looks so much better like it's lifted but not attached to my eyelid if you know what i mean overall i feel like i'm already looking better like i feel better like my skin is looking great my lashes are lifted we are having a good day i feel we're doing great do i do a gel over a gel x now that way my nails are longer or a regular gel 
a regular manicure over my normal nails. I have my chai. I literally just went through all my chai without even doing my nails. The whole purpose of getting this chai was to drink it while I'm doing my nails. I'm going to go ahead and use the Essie nail polish in Not Ready for Bed. This color is actually really, really pretty. It is like the perfect red. I'm kind of debating if I really want to go with the sparkle on top. Maybe I'll do like one finger. Even though it's my natural nails and they're really short right now, I feel like they look pretty elegant and kind of cute with the red polish though. Yay. Today we're actually going to do the, I believe it's pronounced Jisoo, Honey Glow Icon Kit. Um, I actually really love this kit because it literally has everything. I'm just going to go and put the mask on and record a TikTok using this. So definitely watch the TikTok. We can now have a glow up without using my facial toning device. This is one from New Face. I absolutely love this. Whenever I have some sort of like special event or I need to like really make my face look snatched, I like to use a toning device. And then for today, I'm going to use the New Face Aqua Gel. And either I'll use this Aqua Gel or I'll use like my Aloe Gel from Holika Holika. But I feel like both work really well. And I usually start at the bottom first, like my jawline and like halfway through my neck and this usually will help snatch that area first I usually do three rounds for each section and so after the three rounds I go to the next section I don't know if you could tell the difference, but I can when I look in the mirror. Like, this part of my face looks so much more lifted and just snatched versus this part is a little bit more droopy. And honestly, after just using it once, I can see results. You're supposed to use it about five times per week, so it's more of an efficient result. I have used it before, like, five times per week, and the results were amazing. But yeah, I really like using this. And yeah, this can be expensive on its own. But comparing it to like getting facials and like treatments done constantly at the facial like salon or the clinics, it definitely is much more affordable and you could just use it whenever you want. So really, really love using this. Whenever I do like a little bit of an at-home glow up, I feel like a sheet mask really makes a difference, you know? And so I'm going to use the Patchology. I think it's how you say it. Patchology. Patchology. I feel like I'm saying that wrong. Patchology. Patch. Patchology. Patchology. But this one is really fun because it's only for five minutes. It's supposed to give you that extra hydration and boost that I need for my skin to look really nice, especially before makeup. On days where I really want like a super deep glow to my skin, I like to use... um sheet mask that you leave for much longer so like 30 minutes maybe even overnight so if you guys want me to talk about my different masks that i have let me know for like glow up and stuff so for my outfit today first i'm gonna go with my cargo pants these are literally my favorite pants right now i use them all the time but don't worry i wash them i'm also gonna do this top it is an off the shoulder sweater shirt or sweater i guess and this is from H&M. I cannot have a glow up without using my favorite perfume. I feel like it's just really important to wear the makeup, wear the skincare, wear the, you know, perfume that makes you feel really good about yourself. Makes you feel super attractive and just like ready for a day. Mine is Valentino. This one is the Born in Roma Intensa, the intense version. And I love it so much that I'm literally almost done with it. And it makes me so freaking sad but this is honestly such an iconic perfume it has some like vanilla notes to it which i really like but oh, absolutely love this perfume but whenever i am having a little bit of a glow up i notice that doing the makeup that makes me feel really pretty is my go-to like sometimes i'm like oh i want to try like adventurous makeup or do something out of the ordinary 
And then I realized, you know what, I should have just done the makeup that I usually love to do. It makes me feel really pretty. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm not going to really go out of my norm. But that's okay. And I like this makeup because it's more plummy. So that's what we're going to do today. This Glow Reviver lip oil from e.l.f. is so freaking good. I love this. And look how pretty that is. So I always wear this lip gloss whenever I want to feel pretty. Whenever you are trying to do a glow up for yourself, really focus internally as well. Like your emotions, how you're feeling. Make sure you journal, go on a walk. Reset internally. That way it really shows outwards and it really shows how you feel and how you look. So I feel extremely really pretty right now and honestly when it comes to your glow up it's not just about my makeup or my outfit but really taking time for myself to take care of myself you know to rest to sleep to eat what I love to eat to wear what I love to wear put makeup that makes me feel pretty take time to read a book go on a walk enjoy time with my family and friends like really that is all help all of that kind of comes together and give me that ultimate glow up and of course glow up on a budget because yo girl is on a budget but hopefully you guys kind of took something from this and honestly if you guys enjoy these type of videos i'll definitely film more of this kind of glow up videos on a budget as always take care of your health and enjoy the holidays and the new years and i will see you guys next time bye Clock strikes midnight, fireworks light For a moment it feels just right Smiling faces, warm embraces Possibilities all ignite